So we have covered pitch. Okay, so let's talk about these. We have eight-way switches just below, which say, what does that say, Adam? One through eight. One through eight. But what does it say kind of in the middle over the top of them? Oh, pulse count. Pulse count, okay. The pulse count is how long it's going to hold that pitch. So right now, they all have one. So they're holding for the same amount of time. But if you take, I don't know, take the ones that you have up, go ahead and the ones that are higher, go ahead and flip them up to two. Everybody hear what happened? What, what happened, Adam? It started um, basically just doubling the amount of time it's giving the ones that are set to two. Yeah. So by going from one to two, we double the amount of time that it holds that pitch. OK? So and we can do that. We can go all the way up from double to eight times as long. So if you want, if you want that first note to really hold uh, for a long amount of time, you can go ahead and click it all the way up to eight and watch what happens. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Everybody see that? OK. So that's what the pulse count does. It allows you to create pretty complicated rhythmic sequences uh, just by simply choosing the amount of pulses that it holds in the, a specific note. Yeah, keep on. I'm getting there. Yeah, OK. So that's the interaction. So first is the pulse count. OK. The next thing below that is how you want it to act to behave, how you want the gate to behave while it's holding for that amount of pulses. Right now, I have all of them in the, I don't know, I, I don't even know what the names of these modes are, basically. But you can kind of see there's a little um, graphic here. Maybe I'll point up here, basically. You can kind of see this one is blank. This one has just a little bit of marking at the front. This one has like three little markings. And this one has a hold all the way across. So it's like a solid black line, OK? So these three different, uh, excuse me, four different settings in the gate mode. I've got it where there's a little bit of a, um, a, a black mark at the beginning. And that's what's causing it to just play right at the front of the pulse count. Okay? If I want it to sustain, go ahead and flip that all the way up. There you go. So now it's playing it for a full eight counts. Okay? Or what it, you set it back to two. Okay. Okay? You can also. The one that has three little ticks, it will re-articulate. So go ahead and to the, that third position. So now it's playing it twice. So now it will play every pulse and re-articulate them. OK? Are we following along so far? OK? You can create, I mean, there are hours of fun to be had in this unit right here, OK? If, uh, just playing around with the different uh, patterns and creating new and interesting uh, rhythmic variations. Uh, the final one is the one at the bottom where it actually will it will skip that note. It will make it silent. So if you go ahead, just for demonstration purposes, pick pick one and no, not those. I'll get to those. Uh, no, the, yeah, slip it down. So this one's off. You know, it skipped it skipped the third note now. And the light doesn't even light up when you do that. Okay, so it, it's if you wanted to skip a note, you can do that as well. Okay. Um, and again, all of this can happen interactively. You can be recording the output while you're making changes. And each time it goes through the sequence, the variation happens the next time through. Okay? So it's a way to kind of create uh, multiple variations over time. Okay? Um, so I covered the pulse count. I covered the gate mode. Um, next up is the slide skip. Um, so if you, let's see, let's get them all back. There. Um, if you light up the, the button down at the bottom, when you um, press that, it should slide a little bit more. And the slide time is controlled by this knob here. So go ahead and turn that up. Here it's whoop. It's now whooping up to the note, basically. Um, so when you engage the slide on a specific note, and it works best when there's a big gap between the slides, okay? Uh, between the the slide, the pitch sliders at the top. I need to be really specific about as far as what I'm talking about. So the pitch sliders at the top, when you have a big gap between them, and you engage the slide button at the top, so the green light lights up, you'll hear a, just kind of a scooping effect as it goes into the note. Okay. 
that is increased by turning the slide knob, okay? And then the, the gate time, this knob right here, will actually um, control how, uh, the duration of the notes. So right now they're pretty short. So go ahead and turn that up and you should hear them get longer. Now they're more connected, okay? So think of that as the difference between staccato notes and legato notes, okay? That's what happens with the gate knob, okay? Um, let's see here. I think that's uh, everything I want to cover there, but any questions about all of these controls right here on the interface? Yeah, Megan. Um, there's not a way to change the time signature. There is a way to change the rhythmic pattern, though. Okay, so if you wanted, I mean, if I turn this up, uh, let's see, where are we in BPM now? BPM. I mean, because we're doing this one, two, one, two pattern, it almost has a lilting kind of triple lit. Okay, we're creating kind of a six, eight, or a 12, eight kind of feel. Nick. 